So today I'm going to be talking about how we recognize individual great white sharks. We quite often get asked on the boat how we know it's a new shark around the boat, how we know it's not just the same shark that's been passing the boat, and how we know how many sharks have been around the boat. We have a list of criteria that we use to gauge whether the new shark is around or if it's the same shark that it used to be. Most people have heard about fin identification, so the trailing edge of a dorsal fin of a great white shark can be used with the lumps and bumps and broken down to be able to identify great white sharks, as well as gill pigmentation and the pigmentation line down the side of the shark. This is also unique to each individual shark and can be used to identify sharks. However, when you're on the boat and you're working with great white sharks, when you're doing data analysis or you're uh, bait handling and you need to be able to tell the clients uh, there's a new shark yeah, around or there's different sharks around, days. it's not always possible to be able to take a picture of the dorsal fin in that moment to be able to tell that it's a new shark. So we have a list of criteria that we use to be able to identify new sharks around the boat. To start with we usually use size. This is the yeah. easiest one. When the sharks come by the boat, our cage is roughly 3.3 meters. So we know that if the shark is drastically bigger or drastically smaller than the previous one, we know it's a new shark. We then move on to pigmentation. Sharks come in various different colors, from like a light, very light gray, to a dark gray on top, nearly black sometimes. So if the shark is either a lighter or darker, we also know it's a new shark then we have to try and find very unique features. Most sharks have lots of different scarring on. Some of the biggest celebrity sharks that we've had have got the most beautiful scarring. We have one called December Beauty, and it was named because it has a big uh, heart-shaped scar on its side. It looks like a Cupid arrow going through it. This is how we recognize her, and many other sharks have very unique scarring or gashes or gouges from different injuries that they've sustained over the years. After that, we do try and sex the shark, but unfortunately when you are stood on the boat, unless you can see the claspers underneath on a male shark, it's very hard to determine whether it's a male or a female. We do quite often ask the clients to keep an eye out underneath to see if they do spot claspers so they can notify us whether it is a male or a female. You do sometimes get a look, but very infrequently. We do try and take dorsal ID fins uh, just so we can clarify that the shark we're talking about is the one we, uh, that we have previously identified. However, that's not always possible. Sharks don't tend to swim with their dorsal fins out of the water. They're ambush predators. They don't want to be seen. So unless the shark's dorsal fin does breach the surface of the water, it is very hard to get one of those identification shots. We then try to look for other identification marks things that are unique to the shark. Some sharks have torn dorsal fins or pectoral fins, others have white pigmentation on the caudal fin. Um, lots of different unique features for each individual shark that helps us recognize them. However, we are very used to the sharks in Mossel Bay and we do get to know some of the big personalities in the bay. We've had some amazing sharks over the years. We've got to know some of the big celebrities. When they get to three to four and a half meters, they do tend to keep coming back. So we do get to know the same sharks. That's it guys. Um, that's how we know different sharks are around the boat. That's how we recognize individuals. And that's how we uh, get to know the sharks. It does become like a weird extended family. You seem to know each individual shark in the bay and it just makes the whole experience a lot more special. Cheers for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do like it, please subscribe. Please like, ring that bell. Um, videos, more videos to come. Um, yeah, thanks for your support, guys. Cheers.